up. <laughs> or you will be ruined. <laughs> You'll never get a job in this town again. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're here at Koshan 555. We've got seven pigs, five chefs, and a traveling culinary festival, and we are here to test them out. We need some pig and drink some booze. Now here's the best part about Koshan is that they have heritage pigs. These are seven heritage pigs, which means that they have a long line back to the U.S., not immigrant pigs, and they're either endangered now or have recently been endangered, which actually makes them delicious. Okay, I'm going to a little tail. I'm going to cry. All right, so tell us, how are you even going to start here? So we're going to take his head off first. Do you want a shot? Now, I know for most of America, a three-course meal is an appetizer, dinner, and a uh, dessert, but for me, it's Caviar, oyster, and Moscato. Feed me, Seymour. What do you want to tell the people? <laughs> we are doing simple Manhattans with beer barrel bourbon out of New Holland Artisan Spirits. Yeah. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. So this is how Caitlin's dates end up after Friday night. The ethical duty of journalists is free pork and booze. Yeah. Amen to that. Well, what we're looking at here is a Luxardo Cherry Manhattan Bar. I see Breckenridge, the Colorado whiskey, which is like the first American whiskey to really find out what a different elevation does to how you make a, a whiskey. I see Eagle Rare which is a fantastically smooth, beautiful, sweet bourbon. It's about as pretty as it gets. That's pretty cute. I'm pretty sure this is a scene in the wall. What's going on for you mentally right now? Tell us what you're thinking. We're making three different types of hard tartare out of it. One with a whiskey gelée, uh, one on a fried noodle, and we got one just on white bread, classic style. That was once alive. I'm not going to dig through my glass for this cherry for your satisfaction. Let's go find some bacon. He should have brushed his teeth. What is it? Uh, it's pork blood and chocolate cream puff. Ah! That is some damn good f***ing goat cheese. Sherry Glenn, when you're with the media, you can do anything you want. So this is our uh, latest release in our Game of Thrones series. It's our fifth release. It's called Three-Eyed Raven. It's a dark saison. I think you need a Mr. Delicious t-shirt. I don't want anyone to see me wearing a pig t-shirt. It says Mrs. Delicious. It says Miss Delicious. It's not, it's, she's not married. Miss Delicious. It's like a stripper name. Right here we have the pigs in a blanket, which is basically a sticky bone with caramel, pecans, and a little bacon. So Whistlepig is just about the best rye on the market right now. And I've never even heard of Whistlepig Old Roll. So we're going to try that out. You know, part of it's the taste and part of it's the experience, but it's all good. Oh my gosh. It's a God's gift to Earth. I'm not kidding. I would take a bath in that. This will make it better. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese empanada. You don't need to be able to see to understand how good it is. How do you make pork fat into a powder? Tapioca, maltodextrin, and liquid pork fat, and you stir it. I'm not going to blow pork fat. I'm just saying you need to pretend to blow pork fat. Actually, I will blow pork fat. Some people wondered if Caitlin and I could actually travel around D.C exploring places where they cook pork, where they drink beer, where they drink whiskey, and make a show out of it. And I told them, America's pretty awesome. We have plenty of material. <laughs>